The rate of vulnerability and poverty in Africa has pushed household consumers in dire need of cheap sweeteners to enhance delicacies or flavorings like Maggi cubes, Ajinomoto, etc., in order to meet up with the insatiable quest for taste and protein value, which is a highly prized commodity. This taste board catalyst was first invented by Julius Maggi, a Swiss born in 1884. Julius did this to help poor workers in Europe at the time who couldn't afford flesh protein and later found Africa after the Berlin Conference in the 19th century as a fertile ground for exportation and sales. Billions of these sweeteners are produced, marketed and consumed annually, especially by poor and impoverished families for survival in the continent. A quick look reveals the producers of these unwanted amino acids brandishing their slogans and advert mechanisms to attract frustrated blacks. Nestle, the god of the world food industry and largest in the universe, adopted the sweetener in 1947 and has been able to push Africa to consume irresistibly for their high profiteering in disguise of curbing unemployment and yet remaining a multi-billionaire financial empire in Africa and the globe. In one of their advertorials, they reveal that Maggi cubes are made from carefully selected ingredients which have been approved by regulatory authorities. They are safe and pose no danger to the health of consumers. Nestle's Sing Song adds that Maggi Cube has a strict quality management system in place to check the quality and safety of all products from raw materials to the finished products. They conclude that they perform 400 quality checks before releasing Maggi for consumers, adding that if one is placed on low or no salt diet, he or she is advised to follow doctor's advice not to consume it since Maggi cubes contain iodized salt. Unfortunately, sexual weakness, which has become commonplace in men in Africa, vaginal bleeding, urogenital disorders, cardiac disorders, hypo and hypertension, gastritis, asthma, Behavioral disorders in children now prevalent in Africa, prostate swelling, Parkinson's disease, diabetes, obesity, and so on are the final results for consuming Maggi and their flavor enhancers, according to a study. This three-day scientific research was carried out in Mali in 2010 at the CICB, bringing experts from the Ministry of Health Liverstock, food, safety, health laboratories, veterinarians, researchers, and so on. A snappy disappointment reveals that the result of this workshop was shut down by the government authorities and remained in drawers without dusting for fear of bad business empowered by the powers that be. If you want to know why, a deadly substance scientifically known as monosodium glutamate, abbreviated MSG E621, is the scene found in Maggi cubes. This slow killer, also termed flavor enhancer as experts define, is the sodium salt of the 20 non-essential natural amino acids that make up proteins. Concretely, it is a white powder composed of white crystals that dissolves quickly in water or saliva and once dissolved, the substance separates into sodium and glutamate. It is made by fermenting starch and sugar such as sugar cane and molasses. Glutamic acid was first isolated from gluten, wheat and was discovered as the essence of the delicious taste of nice kinds of soup prepared in Japan. 
the use of monosodium glutamate is sometimes hidden in food labels under different names like natural seasonings found in maggi cubes that renders africans widows widowers and orphans after consumption joe clark is still on the trail to reveal more from west africa <laughs>